What's up, everybody? It's your boy Jim, and today we're reviewing this beautiful poison Wait, ivy. Get out of here. Oh, I gotta go. Sorry. <sighs> Sorry about that, guys. I really gotta start locking the door down here. It's your boy Jen Mint, and today we're gonna unbox and review the brand new Poison Ivy statue by Sideshow. I did a video on this when they announced this statue and the super low edition size of just 250. So we're gonna get into it today. Before we do, if you can, please leave a like on this video if you're enjoying the content. It really helps out the channel. With that out the way, let's get this off the table, onto the floor, and start this unboxing. All right, guys, you know the drill. Let's take off the top layer. You can barely see what's going on in here. Everything has like regular tissue paper on it, but here we are. We have the base, we have the little plants, we have Pamela Isley herself. Let's take a look at some of the base elements. So we have this destroyed like gate looking fence. It has like a brown rusted metal type of look to it. Totally destroyed. Then we have the little house of horrors, her little Venus fly traps. This one is grabbing a cap from a Gotham City police officer, the GCPD. And I like how the plant looks like it has makeup, right? It's almost got like lipstick and like a teal makeup on it. Then we have another one of her little horrors. This one giving you a devilish grin. And again, kind of has like lipstick vibes going on. It's got the vine going down and wrapping around itself. Nice colors of greens and browns. Let's take another look at this guy. Got like a Joker smile. And then we got this guy with his mouth open. He's got that shiny, glossy tongue sticking out. Paint applications look great on this piece, man. From the reds to the greens, the browns, color-coded pegs for the assembly. And then we have a couple of smaller little pieces of the base color-coded as well. We'll do that during the assembly. And then we have Pamela Isley's left hand. So she is all one piece except for her left hand, which will be kind of caressing one of her little plants. Bottom of the base, number nine out of just 250. Low ES on this one. And then here's the base. More Gotham City Police Department uh, destruction going on here. So it looks like it's the building crumbling underneath all of the vines. You can see where the color coding will key in. And then here she goes, Poison Ivy. Man, right away it reminded me of the Art Germ premium format that they did back in the day. Love the texturing on her outfit. It's almost like the Jolly Green Giant look, right? You can see she'll be sitting down, resting her right hand on one of the plants. Very large key right here underneath her. Wow, the hair sculpt looks great. And the color, love the red. All right, so let's go ahead and get the assembly going on here. We're gonna have to remove her later on, but we put her on there and we connect one of those little pieces that goes like right underneath her. This one goes towards the bottom of the base. All right, this one we're gonna put one of the little monsters holding the police officer hat. We'll do the uh, Venom symbiote looking one next. And you know what? We had to remove Poison Ivy so that we can put the last plant up top. This is the one that she's going to be caressing with her left hand or kind of holding upward. So let's get her keyed back into the base. All right, that's good. And then on the back, we have that destroyed gate. Just giving a little bit more depth to the piece. I actually had to go back and push that in a little bit harder. Uh, and then her left hand, like I said, it's the only piece of her that's not attached, kind of holding her little plant. And before we see what she looks like in full, just a quick word from our sponsor. Ninja Funk is already celebrating their one year anniversary and they're having a huge event at the Ninja Exchange in Carlsbad, California. Not only will there be a live signing with co-creators JPG and Steve Shewitt, but they're bringing out legendary artists Jim Lee and David Mack. But that's not all, we have special guest John Dolmayan, the creator of Essencia, founder of Torpedo Comics. If you're in the area, make sure to come swing by on November 18th and 19th for the celebration. All right, guys, here we go. Pamela Isley, Poison Ivy. She's giving me like a Jessica Rabbit vibe going on here, right? Like that sultry look. Love the skin tone that they've used on her. The red hair and the sculpt looks great. You got her just lounging on this plant that's destroyed Gotham City Police Department. Got her little Venus fly traps all around her. A pretty subtle piece as far as the dimensions go. She's kind of sitting down, so she's measuring in at just about 18 inches tall. So got some height to her still. Looks like the width is about nine inches, the depth being around the same. This piece retailed $695, and with that low edition size of 250, of course, it's waitlisted, meaning you can put your name on the waitlist, and if one opens up, you might get an email where you're able to purchase this. But 
I mean, you're getting a traditional sideshow piece. I think when it comes to sideshow, they're the most artistic of all the statue companies. I feel like they really lean into the artsy style. I feel like they were able to capture the essence of Poison Ivy. She has a seductive look to her, just leaning up against her vines casually as they destroyed Gotham City Police Department. This one was sculpted by Dan Yulrich, Richard Long on the design, and she Azuma on the paint. Let me know what you guys think about the Poison Ivy by Sideshow. What do you think about the low edition size? Is that something that they should continue to do moving forward? Sound off in the comments down below, and I'll leave you with her spinning 360 degrees. Appreciate you watching. Stay minty fresh. Peace.